Hello everyone, Chad Mancine here. Okay, so we're on level 7 on Hack This Site, you, on the basic missions track. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, my previous videos on the Hack This Site basic missions walkthrough playlist, I suggest you uh, look at those. Uh, essentially, my goal is, if you're using this website to learn about uh, attacks and hacking, that uh, if you get stuck, you can come here to get a, a walkthrough and a bit of an explanation. So, this case, uh, this time Network Sam has saved an unencrypted level 7 password in an obscurely named file, uh, saved in this directory. Uh, in, order, in unrelated news, Sam has set up a script that outputs the unix cal command so the cal command if you're not aware is the um calendar command so first thing i want to do okay because knowing our friend sam here he doesn't set a lot of things up properly so let's look at the source of this page okay so simple um it calls on a cal.pl uh, script and using the method post okay to check um, to, to use the values that are inputted from text uh, from the text input box that goes to the that's passed over to cal.pl okay a couple things I'm not seeing here I'm not seeing anything to check for invalid inputs um, or uh, anything that restricts the text box to be numbers only because according to his script it's enter the year so let's try april okay so one thing that we noticed is that i entered an invalid response to what the text box is asking for in this case i entered april i got a white screen meaning that it was passed over um, my input was passed to the cal.pl file. It was not rejected. So that means that there is no uh, validation, uh, input validation done. So it's a really bad script. This can work out to our advantage for sure. So the first thing I always like to try to do um, is try the apostrophe. ls-l for instance. Because the one key word here is Unix cal command. So that means that there's a Unix backend system here. So if I hit view, I get nothing. But we're not done. If you put the semicolon and then ls-l, click view. Whoa, what happened here? Why is the cal command plus the list working? Let me explain. So the cal command will run, okay, because we've given it, uh, we've given it something to work with. So it will just, if we come back here, right, ls-l, the cal command ran first as the first parameter uh, that's by default. So January 2018 is when it is what the calendar is going to return because nothing was passed into the parameters. So it will just add, it will just look at this month. So if I were to just run this script with nothing, I'll see January 2018. Now, if I put in the semicolon ls-l, what I've told it to do is pretty much in I've done a remote um, command injection here by issuing the semicolon. I'm saying, please include the second command. So in this case, by including the second command, I've done the January 2018. And then now I've said list the directory. In this case, listing the directory uh, brings me to this obscure name. Okay, so let's first go to that one. And of course, he's back to his really poor security practices because here's an unencrypted 
uh, letter and number combo, which I'm assuming is the password. And there you go. <laughs> so that was the password to the form. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what else it will allow uh, us to do here, but let's try PWD, for instance. This may not work. Yeah, so I had, when I originally did this, God knows when, um, you know, I probably played around with the, the same stuff. I think the, the script um, that the actual site uses kind of limits you to what you can do. Because in, in reality, uh, with a script like this, I should be able to run anything. So in, if this was a real world scenario, uh, whatever the www uh, dash data user or whatever the the Apache user has access to, so you know if it had access to ls or pwd or anything like that, then uh, I would be able to run those commands. So to secure yourself, and let's say this was in a real scenario, how would you secure yourself? So number one uh, issue here is that there's no input validation. I can put whatever I want into this text box, which is not good. So what I would want is if I typed in April, it would come back and say, that's not a number. Give me a number. I'm not processing that until it's a number. Number one. Number two is on the server side, I would make sure that, you know, you have something like app armor or um, your, your Apache user is limited to the amount of commands it can run so that even if somehow uh, you, you miss that, LS should not be able to run by the you know, Apache user because it shouldn't have to list directories and stuff. And then on the most serious note is why would you have a site that has an unencrypted password for the password file? It's a huge no-no. And on top of that, why is it printing to the browser and not um, obfuscated? So there's a couple of issues with the site that, uh, you know, pretty much led to its demise. But uh, that's what these sites are for, so you can learn. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, please reach out to me at any time, sean at seancom Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.